myself. Good morning and welcome back to London, where today we're in an area I've never actually been to. I know, big shame. <laughs> After living in London for nearly three years, I've never actually made it to Notting Hill. So today is the day. It's a lovely, crisp October day. It's dry at the moment, so we're keeping our fingers crossed that it stays like this. And we're gonna go and explore a bit the area around Notting Hill, which is in Western London and which looks like this. And there's really four things that Notting Hill is famous for. First of all, houses like this. They're all super colorful. The whole neighborhood is in bright colors and it just looks absolutely amazing. And even on a gray day, it makes London look so much better. Second, there's Portobello Road Market, which is one of the biggest antiques markets in Europe. I think actually it's the biggest in Europe. It's nearly a mile long. So there's everything you could ever dream of. Thirdly, there is the Notting Hill Carnival, which is this massive festival, it's Europe's biggest street festival. It takes place every August and it's Caribbean inspired and you see loads of dancers and musicians and street food and it's, it's sheer madness, but it looks absolutely amazing. So I've never actually been, but I can't wait to go. And fourth, you probably all have seen Notting Hill before because loads of movies have been filmed here. First of all, obviously Notting Hill, the movie with Hugh Grant and Julia Roberts, but also films like Paddington or Love Actually. So I'm very sure you've all seen a bit of Notting Hill. If not, or even if you have, let's just go around, let's just go for a wander and explore all the most important and most beautiful bits of Notting Hill. Notting Hill we've seen so many amazing cars like old-timer cars really cool colors matching the houses absolutely amazing and now we've just come across this which I adore <laughs> nowadays Notting Hill is one of the most expensive and most sought-after areas in London but that hasn't always been the case. Actually, until about 50 years ago, no one wanted to live here. It was considered a slum and a no-go zone in London. But then specifically in the 80s, and because of films like Notting Hill, this whole area became so popular and now it is so expensive and like no way any normal person could actually live here. It is so ridiculously expensive, but it's very pretty as well. So I get why.
Right, I think I've officially found my new address. St. Luke's Muse. This is so freaking cute. It's all these little stables, these tiny little houses. They're just so adorable. They all have plants before them and they all have roof terraces. And it's just so beautiful. Like you, can, you couldn't imagine that you're in London. So, oh my God, this is absolutely great. And again, as you might have seen in my last video about Soho, if you haven't, I'll link it up here. This is so empty. And I mean, I've never been to Notting Hill, so who knows? But I'm very, very sure that it's not usually that empty. I've seen pictures of Portobello Market where you just can't walk. It's just full of people and all the guidebooks say, don't go there on a Saturday. And if you go, go really early. And what should I tell you? It's Saturday afternoon and it's absolutely empty. I think I might need to correct myself. I think this is my new dress. Look at those colors. I absolutely love it. I mean, that must be so cool if you live here and it's just so colorful and you wake up and it's all bright and even on a dull day, it's, it's just shining full of colors. This is amazing. Seeing places like this, I really get why people like London and why people think it must be absolutely great to live here. I mean, if I could live in an area like this, like that would be absolutely amazing, but I hate to, you know, shatter your dreams, but unfortunately not all of London looks like this. This is very much central London, the touristy area, the very, very rich area. Normal people like me, we can't really afford it to live in places like this, but it's nice to dream. Portobello market and this is absolutely insane. It's massive. There's so many stalls where you can buy everything you can ever imagine. Clothes, jewelry, like things. I don't really know why you would buy them but anyway it's super interesting. Lots of antiques obviously. There's a massive food market over there which we're gonna go check out in just a second. And this like Portobello market is one of the biggest ever and I think usually you can't walk here it's so crowded but now Obviously, because of the situation we're in, there's not a whole lot of tourists there. So it's really nice to go for a walk and to actually have some time to explore it in a bit less rush. Now the issue with these markets is always that there's far too much choice and far too much good stuff and I can never decide. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to get. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to get if you're on a market like this. When you can literally get any food you would like. A double. A double. I'm okay, how are you? Yum. Getting all the freebies here, left, right and center. I think you just need to look very interesting to the food and hold a camera into their face and then they give you food for free. That's great. And it's also really yummy. With noodle, yeah? Yes, please. Pick up in this box to get everything, whatever you like. This is a double sandwich from Philippines. That guy with the chicken was really convincing. That was so yummy. So I just went and got a box of that. Just some chicken and some noodles and it's absolutely delicious. So that is amazing. And now we found a place to sit and the sun has come out. The food is delicious. The weather is lovely. So what else can you ask for? So after all the beauty that we've seen in Notting Hill with those amazing, beautiful, coloured houses, these lovely townhouses, it wouldn't be London if there wouldn't be something a little bit quirky about the architecture. So right here behind me is Strelick Tower, which honestly is such an ugly building. It looks so horrible. It's just this massive concrete building, which honestly is such an eyesore. So it's really not typical Notting Hill, but it was built last century. It was used as social housing for quite a while, but then kind of everything became hip and trendy 
and now this is a super expensive place to live. Apparently you can't get a flat in there anymore. As soon as one becomes free, someone else jumps in and just wants to live here. And it kind of became this, this quirky, cool, hip and trendy place to live. So yeah, that's, that's London for you. Biscuitiers, which is this amazing cookie shop. It's, I mean, it's so pretty. They've got cookies that are iced by proper artists, and that's how it looks. It's a piece of art. Um, you can buy different boxes of cookies and all different themes Halloween, Christmas, birthday, whatever you would like. You can even come and ice your own cakes, which I think is a really cool thing. And next time, I definitely have to try. This is the end of my little Notting Hill walk around. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please just drop them in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Also, subscribe to my channel, and then I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!